For this activity, we'll be creating a web page that will be linking to all of our future homework assignments. To do this, we're going to use Dreamweaver, which is the um, industry standard for web development tools. Um, you may have purchased Dreamweaver for your home computer, um, or you may be using a lab computer. We provide it for free. Um, you may decide to use a different application for web development, um, but the directions here of course provided by using Dreamweaver. Um, if you choose to use a different application, there are several that are available on the web for free, such as NVU. Um, Microsoft has a product. Uh, the only thing that I would keep you from doing would be using something like Microsoft Word, um, because with a product like that, you will not have good results, so you do not, absolutely do not want to create a web page with that. So what I'm going to create is the page that you see on your screen. And I'm going to use or open up Dreamweaver and create a new HTML page. I have the properties on the bottom set to CSS. If you do not have that, just click on CSS and it will take you there. I'm going to click Center. And it's going to ask me for a class. I'm going to give it a selector name of centered text. I'm going to say introduction to web page creation. CMW-100 after hitting enter. I'm going to insert a horizontal rule. So I'm going to click insert. If the computer doesn't freeze too much. HTML, whoops, and horizontal rule. I next will hit enter twice and I'm going to insert a table. So I'm going to say insert table and I want the table to be 10 rows deep and two columns wide. I want the width to be 600 pixels and border thickness of one is acceptable. So I'll click OK. I'm going to type in the homework assignment names here. So homework number three, homework number four, and write down the list. So I've entered in all the homework assignments and I realized I made my table too many um, rows. So I'm going to highlight the bottom row, right click, select table, and delete row. Okay, I want to add the projects now. So if I go back to Blackboard, I can see Project 1 is next to Homework 3, Project 2 is by Homework 7, and then Final Project. So there's three in between each project. So I'll come back and I'll type in Project Number 1, Project Number 2, oops, I put it in the wrong cell, so I'll just cut and paste, and Final Project. Okay, um, you'll notice that the cells resize themselves. However, it's still just not what I'm looking for. So what I can do is I can click on my column. I can select the column. And down in my properties, I can select a, set a width of 300, which is one half of the width of the table, because we set it to be 600. I've got that. I know the other column will be 300, because, well, the 600 minus 300 is 300, so I'm going to leave that be and I'm going to call it good. The homework assignment that we did first where it just linked you to this page was homework number one. This is homework number two. So we're all set. For all future web assignments, you're going to highlight the homework, create a link to it, save it, and re-upload it. The only thing remaining is the title. So I'm going to say go under my title and I want it to be CMW-100 homework. So I'll type in CMW-100 homework. Good. I'll save this. And it's going to go to my public HTML file where I saved my items. Ooh. 
in my CMW100 folder. It does not just go in the public HTML because it will overwrite the homework we did last time. And index.html. Click save and it's good. Now I can test this by going to that folder double click on index that was my homework one and there's my homework two the only thing that I see that's not correct is I wanted this table to be centered and I can go back and fix that so I'll click back into Dreamweaver in here you can see the different tags that are in HTML so I'm going to click on table I'm going to go to align select center I'll save this again go back to my browser and hit refresh you can see that it updated appropriately so that includes um, creating the homework page uh, the only thing that would be remaining would be to upload that to your web space